Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. Video game community managers across the board seem to have lost their collective minds. Now, you would think, as a community manager in a video game environment, you would want to bring the community together to talk about and enjoy and just share stories about this game or that game or whatever you're playing, whatever community they are the manager of but that doesn't seem to be the case as of late especially when it comes to the most recent turn of events with hell divers 2 community manager declares game is pretty woke okay again i try not to use those words personally because it means something different to everybody and all you're always going to get an argument so ideological checkbox that's the ones that's easily provable for me you make your own decisions. And reveals game was banning individuals that she deemed as, quote, bigots, transphobe, homophobes, and racists. And of course, John F. Trent. Love you, John. Love you, Park Place. Repeats the same thing. So we're going to move on to the rest of it. As brought to public attention by good old Mark Kern, a.k.a. Grums on X. There's a lot of people going after him as well, for whatever reason. But hey, who knows? Last month, Baskin replied to a Steam curator list that recommended Helldivers 2 and claimed the game was not woke. Now, I've played a good bit of Helldivers 2, and while so many people are trying to claim that it is um, a parallel to real-world politics, it's fascism, even though in fascism I don't think you can leave the military, but anyway, it's a parody. It is an over-the-top, overblown, Starship Troopers-esque parody and what people are enjoying the most about it, it's not beating you over the head with any sort of real world preachy bullshit. And you get to kill, you get to kill bugs and automatons, you know, you get to kill bugs and robots and then you kill bugs and robots and then you get together with your friends, you blow them up and then when they respawn, you kill more bugs and robots. Oh, it's also not $70 goddamn game. Anyway, moving on back to the article. However. Let's see, what more? Claim the game was not woke. She initially wrote LMAO. Well, she's up to date with the current lingo. However, in a response later in the thread, she wrote, quote, plus, Hell Divers is pretty woke, dog. Oh my god. People use that. Okay. Game was made. Okay, here's the fun part. Here's how she claims the game is woke. Because it was made by a lot of LGBTQ and brown people and black people and women. And it's a big satire of jingoism. Okay. It's a big satire of jingoism. So, it's a fun game. Now, to try and sit there and claim that one of the qualifiers for a quote-unquote woke game is that it was created, developed, written, and whatever, designed by a bunch of black and brown people and women and LGBTQ. That has nothing to do with whether or not a game could be considered ideologically checkbox driven or as most people are calling it woke. Sorry, but you're wrong. And of course, it boils down to the what's been going around, what I've said a few times, if a game is fun, Gamers will ignore, ignore a whole bunch of bullshit. They will. So you can call it a big satire of jingoism, but the thing is, the game's fun. So gamers don't care. They role play. They go over the top with the role playing of the, I guess, spreading democracy across the universe, whether they like it or not. Idea. The satire. People are leaning into it heavily, and they're having a good time doing it. Why? Because it's fun. Did I mention you get to kill bugs and robots? And of course, Friendly Fire is hilarious. But the game was made by a lot of alphabet people and brown people and black people and women. So that automatically makes it woke. Sure. <sighs> this is, again, this is an example of why I don't like using that term. I know a lot of channels like mine that talk about the things like I do. They want to put that in the title. They want to call everything woke, 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 woke. And this is the reason. This is a clear, concrete, classic example of why I don't like using that term. Because individuals like good old Miss Catherine Beskin, yes, I am, I'm uh, 
assuming your gender, because your name's Catherine. I'm going to get in trouble for that. Moving on. Women like Catherine don't seem to understand what gamers, I'll use, I'll say that. She has no clue whatsoever when gamers talk about what they consider what is and what is not woke. Hell divers, I wouldn't even begin to believe or even think that it's on that ideological spectrum, that real world forced diversity checkbox nonsense. Never even crossed my mind. Article continues in the same thread. Baskin revealed she and her de and developer Arrowhead Game Studios were banning individuals from the game's Discord that they deemed as bigots. Well, the difference is, the problem there, is that other people have receipts. Actual receipts. I even did a video on it. Thank you very much. Y'all made it very popular. Talking about who was getting banned and what the reasons for. Any sort of discussion on real-world politics, whether it was talking about having a rainbow flag or an ideological flag in the game. Banned. Hit with the ban hammer. Anyone asking why there weren't these flags and how they didn't want, they wouldn't want an American flag or a country's flag, they were hit with the ban hammer too. Because they apparently they have rather strict rules and they adhere to them. So... Poor little Miss Catherine Baskin come, to come out and say this has me questioning not, not just her motives, but her viewpoint. I guess her viewpoint to say that they were only banned the bigots. Again, people have receipts that contradict this statement. Transphobes, homophobes, racists, etc. are not welcome in our community. And honestly, legitimate transphobes actual homophobes, actual concrete racists, you know, those people who don't want to have anything to do with you because of any of these things. I wouldn't want those in my community either because you're silly. Everyone's accepted in gaming. Everyone is loved in gaming. Unless if you're, you're going up against them in a competitive nature, then go back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Quote, we had, we had to restrict the topics on the HD2 general chats for a while because it was triggering massive waves of hate speech. Uh, what is hate speech? What is your definition of hate speech? A disagreement? Someone doesn't agree with what you have to say, they don't like what you have to say, and they come back with a rebuttal? Is that hate speech? Which our staff was struggling with emotionally. I don't believe you because... If that were the case, again, I'll say this every single time, bring your receipts or shut up. It's just that simple. Because honestly, as I've said before, again, we want to see them so we can govern our own community. Because honestly, it makes us look bad. We actually come out here, we make videos, we make tweets, we do things we bring things to light and we try to do it in, in the best most uh civilized way possible so that lovely individuals like Catherine baskin aren't able to clip the things that we say and use them against us or at least show what kind of people they think we are take our stuff out of context by all means they'll continue to do that but we'll just turn around and show the entire context and let people decide for themselves so yeah we want receipts so we can take care of that govern our own communities take care of our own communities so that you can't continue you to use the one or two bad apples to make the entire group the entire movement so to speak look bad Baskin has locked down her profile on X because of course she does. You're going to come out and say something stupid and then you're going to lock everything up and not respond to any sort of criticism. It is an act of a coward. It is an act of someone who has no leg to stand on as far as I'm concerned. Prove me wrong. But Kern shared a number of other posts she met made in the last four years. Oh my goodness, bringing up their past tweets? Is that something we should do against them? Use their own tactics against them? I'm all for it. I'm all in favor of it. Do it. Let's use their own tactics against them. Just post the whole thing. Don't take it out of context because that's all they're going to accuse you of doing. In 2020, June 2020, she had posted, quote, 
I'm not talking much because it's not my turn to talk. Huh? Oh, dear Heavenly Father. It's time for black people to be heard, even though, okay. And for white people to listen. My dear, it is up to each individual on whether or not they want to listen or not. At the same time, it is up to each individual as to whether or not they want to speak and be heard. You don't need to care for them. Don't stop being offended on behalf of other people. Sit down, shut up. If somebody wants to talk, they will talk. They will be heard. And people will listen if they so choose to. This idea that you need to white knight for a group of people is preposterous, to say the least. I want to continue to do everything I can help. I can to help, including passing the mic. What, are you part of the Beastie Boys now? Because now I'd like to... Pa um, never mind. In another post, she wrote, I also don't like the terms casual and hardcore because they come with the implication that skill equals passion. No, skill equals skill. Passion equals passion. Neither one of those things. You can be a casual... What the hell? You are delusional. I don't think you know what those words even mean. Those words are some something gamers cling to. Some do, some don't. But they are being rendered meaningless, much like all the insults that you sling out, Catherine. As games become more accessible, which means they're putting, they're calling for journalist modes to be put in. Easy, easy, peasy, beautiful, blah, blah. I screwed up that quote. I'm going to move on. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. There, I said it. Ah, become more accessible. Accessibility means difficulty options. Inclusive. What does that mean? What video game out there has stopped anyone from playing it. That's one thing I don't understand. This idea of inclusivity. I have to see myself in the video game. That's preposterous. Game Video games have been around since, oh, oh God, the late 70s, early 80s, and not one single video game, regardless of the protagonist, has ever told me, I'm sorry, the protagonist does not look like you, therefore you cannot play this game. It doesn't exist. It doesn't happen. You are creating something. You are making a problem that doesn't exist in order to justify your meaningless existence, to give yourself a job, and people are getting exponentially tired of it every day. Experimental. Now that I don't understand. I wouldn't understand where she's coming from. Games become more accessible, inclusive, and experimental. Games have always been... They've always been those things. Uh, Grums has... Let's see, what does he say here? Oh, she goes on, don't like casual, time for black people to be heard, blah, blah, blah. According to her LinkedIn, Baskin has been a social media and community manager at Arrowhead Game Studios since December 2021. Something I heard, what, what sort of skills, knowledge do you need to be a community manager? I've heard a few things, but I don't want to make assumptions that any Joe Blow off the street could be a community manager. But with attitudes like this... With responses like this that do nothing but divide the community, that get people riled up and start pitting them against each other, I'm not sure if I'd want that sort of community manager in charge of my video games community. But that's just me. Let me know what you think. She previously worked in academia, mineral area. Okay, that's a whole bunch of meaningless information. What do you make of Baskin describing the game as well? I think she's full of snot. I think she doesn't know what the term is and just wants to sling that word around, like I said, in order to create controversy that's not there, pit people against each other, get the community riled up, and should probably let go be, um, I don't know, I don't want to say gotten rid of, let go, or anything like that. Perhaps just a nice, swift little talking to. You Take that however you want to. Maybe the Helldiver 2 devs should have a little chat with her and say, Hey, we would prefer if you not talk like this, because it's rather divisive. But that's all I'm going to say on that one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. I hope to see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. Do all those lifty little things that YouTube is begging to do, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.